Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to be learning how to do Python. And this is completely for kids and for adults. Um, yeah. So, first, uh, what you would need to do is you would have to install Python. And if you don't already have it, so just go to python.org. And then when you go to python.org, you just download Python. And yeah, right now I'm using 3.8.1. I don't have the latest version, but you guys should definitely go and check out the latest version. I will download it soon enough. But. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So this is part one, obviously. And we're just gonna be learning some basic things about Python. So, um, what, what can you do with Python? So with Python, you can basically do anything you want. You can create simulations, you can create games, you can uh, create stories, and you can create a lot of things. And, yeah so after we learn a bit basics about python we're going to make games and uh we can make our own ai assistant that's like cortana siri google yeah and yeah so be sure to stick around for that and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to receive notifications when i upload a new video but let's just get right into it. So, first we're going to be learning about a really simple function called print. So when you have, wait, all right, I forgot to say something. When you download Python and you have it installed, um, just down here, type in idle and open up this thing. And there you go. Um, that is what we're gonna be using for now. And so, um, let's do the print command. So just type in print and you're gonna see it turns purple or some other color. Uh, oops, I accidentally typed that. Um, okay. I wasn't supposed to do that. I accidentally typed it, enter. Yeah, all right, so print and then open up two quotation I mean parentheses and then just type in any number uh yeah there you go that's a very big number and you can see that that same exact number comes out right here and so python is cap sensitive so if you put a capital p it won't work so be sure to put all the um, so be sure to put it in lowercase, but yeah, print, and then, so you can type in any number with no problem, but if you try and type a word, what's going to happen is, let me just type in, I don't know, game rule, uh, a game rule. Okay, yeah, if you put capitals, it's going to give you an error, and if you also try to just type in normal words, it's also going to give you an error. Why is that? So, first we're going to have to learn about three things. They're called integers, floats, and strings. So, an integer is... A normal number it's a whole number um, between like a whole numbers positive and negative okay so it could be negative 1200 that's a float no I mean an integer oh my gosh okay negative 1200 is an integer um, 5000 is an integer any whole number is an integer even negatives and on the other hand, decimals are 
Um, so yeah, decimals are, uh, they're called, uh, floats. Yeah. Okay. So decimal, uh, decimals are called floats. And you can also type decimals or floats with no problem. But when you want to type in text, you have to put quotation marks. And that's called strings. Oh gosh, I can't spell. Strings. These are called strings. And yeah, so strings are text that you type in between these two quotation marks. So these quotation marks can be single or double, it really doesn't matter. But, and now you can see if we put capitals inside of strings, it doesn't give you an error. So, yeah. Now, uh, let's um, do some math. And by that, I'm going to make the computer do math. Yeah. So, if you just type in, like, an equation... Python will straight up solve it for you, which is pretty cool. So it's like a calculator right here. Um, I could do five minus five. Yeah, it's zero. <clears throat> and if you want to do division, you would have to put the slash. And if you want to do multiplication, you would have to do the asterisk. So I could do one, one, two, three, four. Multiply by three. It's thirty-three thousand. No, wait. Thirty-three thousand seven hundred and two. Yes. So yeah, we can also print equations. So we could do two two one two 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 dot yeah all right that number, and we can multiply it by two, and it'll print that. So yeah, that, um, so yeah, and now, um, let's learn a little bit about variables. So a variable is like a container that can hold things. Like if you have a jar of jelly beans, those jelly beans are what you're storing inside of that jar. So to make a variable, you just have to type in a word like whatever you want to call your variable like i call mine's apples then do equals and then <clears throat> let's just type in a random number so now apples is equal to 23. now if i just go down here and print apples it's going to give me 23. so this is like your container and this is what you're storing inside of the container. Uh, you could also store text. Oh gosh. What's happening? Okay. Um, so I could do... Oh, okay. She... Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, you can't modify the lines above. You can't make any changes to them. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so I could, um, do cheese, I don't know, is equal to, I don't like it, and it gives me an error, why, cause I, we haven't put it in a string, I hate it, <laughs> There, now it doesn't give you an error. Now if we print cheese, it prints, I hate it. And now you might be like, well variables seem useless cause you could just print, I hate it, or you could just print 23 right here. Well, when you get later on into more advanced programming, I guess you could say what will happen 
is you would want some values or some things to change like over time if you're trying to make a let's say you're trying to make a counting machine that would count to the number you want it to well you wouldn't just keep on typing print oh gosh you wouldn't just keep on typing print one then print two. That would just take way too long. And you do print two. Then print three. Yeah, see, that would just take so long. And what you could do is you could just have the value of one variable keep on changing over and over again. So, yeah. That pretty much wraps it up. Wait, no. One more thing. You can also add variables. What do I mean by that? If I set coins to, oh, uh, let's say, I don't know, there's 50 coins. And then I set players to 20. Oh, uh, okay, that spells payers, not players, but I, I, I tried to spell players. We can do coins minus payers. Oh, wait. All right. I spelled it wrong again. So you have to get the variables exactly right or it won't work. There you go. It shows coins minus pairs, 50 minus 20, which is indeed 30. So that works. You can also add. So, oh yeah. And if you just, um, if you want to duplicate lines, just go up to your previous line and hit enter and it'll just copy down to that line right there. And we can also add which is 70, uh, we could multiply and divide. Divide, you get 2.5, and then multiply, you can get 1,000. So now let's also, let's do it with three variables. You can also do it with three variables. So let me make a variable called um, doink, I don't know, doink is equal to 30. Now we can do doink plus coins plus pairs is 100. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you guys next time so peace